I'm Henry Linares, this is PPSN, I'm here with Toby Ketchum, Jack Polson, and Ollie Walcott, and we're going to be talking about the NFL playoffs. Um, that time of year again, it's coming down to the last final weeks, we're going to see some teams playing each other for some playoff spots. I think this has been one of the most competitive years in the past couple of years for the NFL. Um, there are a lot of teams that I'm just sick of hearing about that I think are garbage. Though. Who, who are you sick of hearing about? I hate the Rams. I hate the Saints. Why, really? Why do you hate the Rams? Rams? Why do you hate the Saints? The Rams, okay, like, you just got to think about these teams that are going to step into the playoffs and just get embarrassed by, like, teams that are, that are experienced in the playoffs. Not really the Saints. The Saints are, are so experienced. The Saints, the Saints would Bowl. lose to the Falcons. I'll agree with you on The Saints, the Saints would beat the, the Falcons. If I were to do a top the five, would beat the I'd, put the, top. I'd put the Saints. I mean, I'd take out the Saints, the Vikings. I hate the Vikings, too. i put in the Falcons, the Panthers, and the Seahawks over them if I were to do that. I think NFC is clown fiesta right now. I don't think there's – I think the Cowboys are taking hits. I think if they had Zeke and Dak and their full team, I think they would beat the Rams in the playoffs on the road probably by two touchdowns. I think the Saints are good, but I literally watched the Pats demolish them week two on the road, um, no Edelman. Um, I think the AFC, on the other hand, is, is the way the AFC always is. The Pats are on top, Steelers are right behind them. Uh, Chiefs, you know, they're just the Chiefs, they're gonna scramble to make the playoffs. They're, they're not making the playoffs. Yeah, I'll I think the Raiders aren't gonna make the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're gonna. Um, You're just saying that. Do you think they're gonna happen? Like confidently, I think I don't know. I think the Jags are a joke. I think the Titans are a joke. I think the Pats would beat them both by thirty, at least, honestly, at home in Gillette in the playoffs. Like you're, like give us a team to beat. Like the Steelers are the only team that can beat the Patriots at, in Foxborough. I think, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say though, back to the NFC, the Saints. I think they're legit. I mean, week two, Saints the team was not playing well. They started out zero two, and they won eight straight games. Like that team, it took a little time for them to gel. It took who time for the play? rookies. It's because the Packers are like, dumb. Yeah, who have they played? I mean, I think I think uh, the, Sa- the Saints run <laughs> the Saints run game has has definitely heated up the past couple weeks. But I think you throw them in against a um, battle tested team that has been that's in the playoffs. Time Talking about playoff game. experience. Yeah, if I mean, anybody has playoff against, experience, it's you, Drew Brees. That's one, one player on their whole team. But it's their quarterback. But think about it. You put, think about you their put coach, in, too. You put that him against Melichick. Russell Brent. Wilson has playoff play play experience. Check, the you can't, you can't like, like match a team up against the Pats. The Pats are far and away the best team in the league. That's like saying, like, fine, Russell Wilson has playoff experience. I think the Steelers I think it would be a good game. Yeah, they might beat them. Who do you think the Eagles are? Really? How? I think the Eagles are going to lose in the second round. I think the Eagles are going to lose in the first round. I just think the NFC got so, like, wrecked this year with the Packers and the Cowboys not being yeah. good. And, like, the Falcons are, like, going to make the playoffs and have a run. Like, the Falcons are so good. If Aaron Rodgers such a good team. Like, I just think the, I think the Rams are actually the biggest clown fiesta. I think you put the Rams the Rams. I think you put the Rams in. The Jared Goff. He's play, a skinny little like. Playing very, he looks exactly like Brady. No, but he does not look like Brady. He does. Same, same body, same all everything. All he's pissed. No, he's not. <laughs> if you put, if run, you put, if you put Goff in against against a good team, that's in in the playoffs. I would love to see Jared Goff go into the Falcon Stadium. The Vikings beat the Rams. I don't buy. I don't buy. The Rams are more worried about the Vikings than the Rams. I don't buy into the Vikings. The Rams are a joke. I buy no, dude. I don't know if I. Seahawks I buy into the Vikings. Back. I don't think I buy into Case Keenum. I don't think I buy. Yeah. Into, I don't buy into Case Keenum. I buy. I, I, I buy into Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater is like Xavier good. Rhodes is the uh, best an corner. Elite, in the is an elite corner, and best I think corner. he's not the best corner. Besides, besides Patrick, Patrick Peterson. Peterson. Besides, besides Patrick Peterson. And I think he he helps their defense, and that's and he makes their team good. I think Adam Thielen has been playing very well. I'm feeling it. They have they have Stephon Diggs, but I mean. You put Case Keenum, again, this idea of putting him against a playoff team that's always in the playoffs, always there, knows what to do, then I don't see. I mean, you put him, the, they played the Steelers, and they got killed by the Steelers earlier in the season. Yeah, the Vikings. Like, Antonio Brown toasted Stephon Diggs. I don't know Just if you have what? paid attention at all. To me, but toasted Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods. Yes, yeah. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen with the Bears? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? Chiefs are one game above. I, 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 could, I, could, I could see the Raiders sneaking in. I don't think that 
the Chargers. Chiefs are going to make the No, correct. Chargers are making the Chargers a are tied. The Chargers Raiders are playing now. really well right For now. For second. But I don't see the Chiefs making the The, the Chiefs are bad. Kareem Hunt has been awful. He had 17 yards rushing last weekend. Chiefs play awful. the Jets this weekend. Chiefs are going to win. still second in the league in rushing. Chiefs are going to win. That's impressive. That just means how good he was at the beginning. I think of the, the Chiefs year. are going to win the division. I think the Chiefs. It all comes down to like that they have 15 to game against the Chargers. It's the Chiefs win the it's division. Come down to make the play, Raiders, are, Raiders and Chargers are going to be tied for first, and they're going to have to play. Um, they're going to play on Christmas in Los Angeles. The Raiders and Chargers. Are yeah, on Christmas. On Christmas. Day. That's going to be a the huge last game. game of the season. It's be a huge game. Now let's head to the last bit of our segment. Who are the worst teams in the NFL? Oh yeah, I know you got someone in your mind. Um. See, I don't want to hate on the Jags because of all the injuries they had, so I'm not going to throw them in there. I have to go top five. I'll go no top three. Top three. So top three Browns, 49ers. Um, it's not really hard. I'm, I'm, I'd have to say just the Jets. I just hate, like, the How? Jets. Jets are playing well. I just think they're the worst. <laughs> Uh, I'd have to go. They're so bad. I'd have to go with the Browns. The Browns <laughs> are the Jets. They're garbage. They're always going to be the top three worst. Like the Browns, is, they can't figure it out. Uh, <laughs> second, I have to go 49ers too. Um, and then third, third's tough. Um, but I mean, I want to say like the Giants, but like like I said, I feel bad about the injuries, but I got to throw them in there. Like they're just playing like terribly. The, what they did to Eli is atrocious. It, uh, it, like the Chiefs, like the Chiefs are playing poorly. So like that win didn't really mean that much to me. They won by like three, scored like thirteen I hate to points. Hate on my boy, so, do either. That yeah, hair. that hairs. The, the dude should be in like an like 80s he is or 90s maybe movie. the worst coach in the league. He is the worst yeah, coach. He, in the he league. is the worst. Coach. I would rather have the coach of the Browns than the Giants. Except coach. for the Jets coach. Who benches uh, Eli uh, Manning for Geno Smith? Who are your worst three. I think I'm gonna have the obviously the Browns. I mean the Browns are just atrocious at number at number one. Um, Why are you looking like that? I don't know. I'm just waiting to hear what you guys say. What do you got in your mind? I think I think you gotta throw the Jets at number two. They're pretty bad. What's the I surprise mean, third team? Let's I hear. mean, you see, you see Robbie Anderson. Like Robbie well. Anderson. Um, but I don't think he's really their answer. Yeah. Same probably not this season. Third and third team. I'm, I might need to throw in the Texans. <laughs> Come on, Fletch. <laughs> I have it's to true. agree with it's you. True. I, I have to agree with you. Injuries, Last year I true. had some defense, but this year I actually have no defense. They're off. I think that their they're defense off. is so overrated. Okay. It's they're horrible. all injured. They're all injured. I don't buy into the hype of yeah, I'm clowning. I don't either. He's got 10 sacks. This guy up here, he hasn't played in like two years. He's injured. They're all, the defense is so old I mean, and terrible. As a Steelers fan, I was old looking, I was looking even forward to, to 25. I was looking dude, forward to Christmas Day, TJ Watt versus JJ Watt. A little bit of brotherly, brotherly love. Uh, no, I'm just going to throw on this I in there. Now, now like Christmas the Day. Oilers. Like, to be honest, I'm going to th- that, that they're not a team as the Houston Oilers. Whatever. Yeah. But I'm just going to throw this in there at the end. <laughs> I think a team that's really going to fall through and actually kind of like mess up the end of the year is going to have to be the Raiders. <laughs> I have to. No confidence in that. I think the Chargers are going to win out. You, I think you I just said confidence. the Raiders are probably going to make the playoffs. No, I said the Chargers yeah, might not. I think you have to have confidence. I don't think the Raiders are going to the Super Bowl. I mean, with that hair on the owner. Yeah, I mean, uh, the uh, yeah. owner needs a haircut. Vegas is a joke. Uh, good luck with that. I mean, if you want to talk about owners, we, right, we don't need to talk about that. Texas owner who said, "What do you want to tell me what he said?" Nah, nah, nah. About his players. I don't know. I don't see how you. Can yeah, he calls them. He like called that. them uh, inmates, which um, is wrong. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't really have any defense for I mean, the Texans at this point. So uh, I think the Texans organization in probably three years max right. will be out of the NFL. All right, you know what, guys? We're gonna end it on that. I'm pissed now. Uh, this is BBSN. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>